The United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden. Abu Bakar al Baghdadi is dead. What's up, guys? Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Sorry, Trump. This guy, in the past few years, has been getting mad at me. He said he is a fool. His English ability is very bad. His cognitive ability is down. Don't even say that he is a president. And Mexico will pay for the wall. 很多人都受不了，但是呢，反正就今儿我就不说他的一些政策，我就想分析分析他的语言能力是不是真的发生了一些变化。Is there cognitive decline？ 与此同时呢，我也想跟大家分析一下，为什么我觉得川普的说话方式这么有说服力 ，and why you might want to learn。From Trump. Are you ready? Let's go. Hey, let me tell you, I'm a big beneficiary of Japan. They buy my apartments and spades. They're fine people, but they must be—they're la laughing to themselves as to what's happening over here. We're not kidding ourselves. They're laughing to themselves, Larry, as to what's happening.、Uh, 首先呢，我一听他说话，我就觉得那会儿啊，三十三年前，他用词比现在高级很多。他句子结构呢，也感觉相对来说比较复杂。像 I'm a great Beneficiary, 一个受益者 That's a hard word. 这个句子呢，它现在很有可能就会说成 I get a lot of money from, 或者 I make a lot of money from 谁谁谁。再加上他那会儿呢，也会用不同的俚语，像 They buy my apartments and spades. In spades 来自于什么桥牌那个 Bridge 这个游戏，黑桃就是价值最高的一个牌，所以呢 ，In Spades 指的就是大量或者是到极限，反正就是特别特别多的意思啊！记得点个赞。总体来说呢，我就会感觉，因为他那会儿可能针对不同的群体，因此呢，他说话确实有一些不同，就是不过都会重复他最重要的一些点。They la they're laughing to themselves as to what's happening over here. We're not kidding ourselves. They're laughing to themselves. 这不管是什么情况，换句话去重复刚才你说的一个想法呢，就能起到一个强化的作用，就会让听众觉得你刚才说的确实很重要。And that's something that you can do. 那现在我们看看另一个采访，是二十一年前的 ，also with Larry King. The sad part is, and what I'm saying is that he could have gone down as a really very good and maybe、so、a great president. You have done well, and the country's done. I have done well, and the country's done well from an economic standpoint. There's no question about that. 就是感觉用词还是会偏高级一些，但是我觉得这点得说清楚，就是高级不意味着你用词特别 pedantic， 就是很装逼啊，用各种大家可能需要去查的一些词，而是从句子结构、从你的措辞或者就是你的思路上看。可以很清晰的从一个点连接到另一个点。The sad part is, and what I'm saying is， 然后他说 ，The sad part is， 很可惜的就是，再加上 ，And what I'm saying is， 我想说的是，这些短语呢很简单，但是呢就会让你就听着好很多，听着地道很多。我现在这个新的口语课就会教这样的一些表达。The sad part is, and what I'm saying is that he could have gone down as a really very good and maybe、so、you have... 那这个 go down as 是一个特别常用的俚语，它指的是克林顿。如果当时就没发生那么多丑闻的话，就会成为一个名垂青史的一个总统。后来呢？ He had some issues. Go down as 这个结构呢，其实经常会听到。今年我看到的特别多，就是 Twenty Twenty will go down as a before and after year， 就是二零二零年就会划分前后的一年。什么意思？也就是说，我们所有人都会记得疫情前和疫情后的生活。So write it down. 记得记笔记啊！再看到我们说说他最高级的一个表达就是 from an economic standpoint， 从什么什么的角度，从经济的角度，他现在就感觉绝对不会用这么一个结构，就听着有点太高级了。康普那会儿的水平确实高很多。And now you're going to see what happens over the next period of a year, because you know when the election takes place, if things aren't doing well, Larry.、Uh, Your Reform Party candidate has a major chance of doing something major. Why、so、you have to see what happens. 这句话我觉得他现在绝对不会说。Just look at that sentence， 跟一篇作文一样，三十九个词。And again 呢，他就是在用一些更高级一点的表达。这不是什么遥不可及的水平，但是呢，我们还是能听出有水平。You know when the election takes place. If things aren't doing well, Larry. 在他说的是 when the election takes place， 我们举行这个大选的时候，他现在可能就会说 when we get to the election， 或者 when the election comes， 也不是说举行 take place 这个词很复杂，但是他一般来说还是会选择一些更简单一点的。Anyway， 几十年前他用词确实比现在高级很多，但是呢，这真的就算是什么坏事吗？这就是川普在大选前一天晚上在威斯康星州的一个造势活动。Let's take a look. 
Well, thank you very much. And hello, Kenosha. It's nice to be back. It's nice to be back. We spent a little time with you, a little law and order. We brought law and order to Kenosha. Right? That's what we want. And hello, Wisconsin. Big day tomorrow. Big, big day. Big day, and I think we're going to do very well in Wisconsin, just like we did four years ago. And it's an honor to be with you. Thank you. Very simple. 那我就把词放在这儿啊。其实我们就能看得很清楚。川普现在发言的时候，比较喜欢简单的句子，就是说我们所谓的 simple sentences。哎，记得刚才他有一个句子三十九个词嘛？现在呢，每个句子三到八个词。刚才这四十四个词里边啊，只有十个词超过一个音节，而且三个都是地名 ：Wisconsin, Kenosha, Kenosha。他用很简单的词。很简单的表达，就是我们最高频率的这些东西，那就是我们在这个课程里边就会教你怎么去做。And with your vote, we will continue to cut your taxes, cut regulations, support our police, support our great military, protect your Second Amendment. It's under siege, but don't worry about it. Unless Sleepy Joe got in, then you can forget about your Second Amendment. 那刚才这个段落里边呢，出现了很多更长一点的词，但是呢，同样很多都是无法缩短的，像 regulations, support, Second Amendment， 还有 Sleepy Joe 的 Sleepy， 别的其实都是比较简单的。然后呢，除了比较常见的 but and then 这样的一些连词，川普呢就不喜欢。更高级的一些词，像 however, nevertheless, on the other hand, otherwise， 你可能就会去学的这些连接句子的一些连词，都挺高级的，对吧 ？But he doesn't like them. Oh, he did say unless. Unless Sleepy Joe got in. 这样其实它用词都很简单，降低了这些多音节词的数量，也就是提高了这所谓的 readability score， 意味着他说话就更像一个。小孩，但与此同时，更多人都会觉得，哎，突然更容易跟上川普的思路。Defend religious liberty and ensure more products are proudly stamped with that beautiful phrase "Made in the USA." Next year we will be, and you know, we're going to be together next year. We're going to be together for four more years, and we're going to be together forever because we're doing things that nobody's. Ever done, and we're doing them together. 那这个其实我觉得跟之前我们说的川普做的特别好的一点很像，就是重复、重复、重复。但是呢，川普的措辞跟别的政客非常不一样。绝大多数人都认为政客就应该说话很优雅，显得很有学问，让人觉得很 presidential. They killed Osama bin Laden. And took custody of his body. 但是呢，川普反而就是想让大家觉得哎没有距离感。And that's good. He died like a dog. 跟别人说话的时候呢，不管是面试啊、开会啊、跟朋友聊天等等等等，如果能够让人觉得哎我们就比较亲切，这肯定很有帮助，会让人觉得哎你很靠谱、啊。Again, 这就是我们在口语课就会经常做的一些事情。我们想让你说话就更像一个。正常人，一个地地道道的美国人。So under my leadership, our economy is now growing at the fastest rate ever recorded, 33.1 percent, fastest ever recorded. We created a record 11.4 million jobs in the last five months. That's a record. And while foreign nations are in free fall, we are creating an economic powerhouse unrivaled anywhere in the world. A recent Gallup poll found that 56% of Americans say they're better off today than they were four years ago. 那到最后这一段呢，我就感觉就挺不一样的。但是呢，也是在重复 recorded record。但每一个句子呢，相对来说都比较长。我想起到这个，就是因为当然他不是不会说长句子，这就是他的一个策略。他之前也明说过 ，He speaks like this because it helps people understand him. He speaks like this because people will like him more. 所以不管现在他的这个认知能力下降了，还是他故意为了拉近距离，说的很简单，他还是一个。受过高等教育的一个人依然能说长句子，而且 ，you know， he might not read， 他可能就是不常读书，但是 he's not dumb， I think， maybe。Anyway， 我觉得很明显，几十年前的川普跟现在非常不一样，从语气
到用词到句子结构，感觉就不是一个人。除了一点啊，他一直有一个特别喜欢的词 ，tremendous。Tremendous harm. There's a tremendous hatred out there, Donald. You've done us a tremendous service. So, if you want to say what cognitive abilities are down, then I think we should look at other issues. Just to get the words mixed up or get the thoughts confused. But you know, he's old. He's in his seventies. But anyway, I think we should learn the most important words here. It's very simple. 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 通过三十二个社会情境，八个方法论来让自己开口说话。感兴趣的话，就可以到我们的公众号“马思睿英语课堂”，点击菜单栏里的这个口语计划，就能报名参加。然后现在呢，就是限时优惠，三百九十九块，就跟我学八个星期的时间，一天就不到一杯咖啡的价格。哎，对，如果你喜欢这个视频，记得点赞、评论、留言，跟我说说你自己觉得川普怎么样 ？And what do you want me to talk about next? If you want to improve your English, 记得要订阅，按一下那个小铃儿，这样我一发视频就会收到通知。然后我们就下次再见 ，See you soon, peace.